Week four, we were doing the snow globe acrylic painting project, and let's start with Riley for this week. Hmm. Okay. So Riley improved a lot. He improved. 我觉得他 improved 非常非常多 because like um he was able to actually do a pretty good job. Um, but I would suggest getting the cats、um, color in next time. Riley likes to rush things a lot, so I think this is pretty good, Riley.、Mm, okay, 比以前多好多好多 So and this one is Lillian's. I was actually, 我一开始有点觉得是哎，为什么 Lillian painted the whole snow globe? But 然后后来觉得，嗯，其实也蛮好看的。So I like that she makes a lot of colors. So I was assuming she did a lot of things on her own. Then she did the flowers, and then she had a cup here. I think this is the 那个，嗯、um, ，那个 the I think 那叫什么？呃、uh,。The hot air from the cup, and I think there's a snowman here, or maybe it's a melting cup. I don't know, but looks pretty good.、Um, but I think she had a lot of fun with playing colors with all these colors. So this one, 我我还蛮喜欢的耶 I I like these parts. 我觉得很特别 Like I honestly think this is really cool. And I'm glad she must have have a lot of fun. Okay, so awesome job, Lillian. And then let's see, this one's Adrian's. So Adrian was trying to do that、um, half the globe part, and because obviously his is not full globe, which is nice. So I want to give him a bravo. For trying something that's like not what we were doing, so very very brave, Adrian. Nice job, and、um, so this is a good attempt to draw. I think he was drawing a fox, maybe. Okay, well, and then I think this might be some kind of, or is it a Pokemon? Was it? Okay, so I'm. I think this might be a Pokemon. So something that he was saying,、um, but very nice job, Adrian. Okay, this one is Blair's. This one's amazing. I love this one. Okay, and Blair, even though um I told her, I mean I told everyone not to do the whole table, but hers looks really nice too. So, I、uh, it looks like there's a lot of color difference. You can. 这里有 lighter brown over here, and there's darker brown over here. So it's nice that you she was able to play with all, a lot of the colors, and then she did these awesome. See, they look like they were blended out. Very nice, and then this part match with this right here. So awesome, and then this part match with this part. So very nice, and、um, this this is the glow part, the reflection area, which is super pretty. So I'm glad she was able to、um, do this one. Very very nice, awesome. Okay, Kelly, <laughs> this one's really cute too. I really like this one. Okay, but this one is kind of like going mad. So everything here. Uh, like let's see, for Blair, this is um the snow was inside the globe most of the time, but for Callie, it was everywhere, which I thought was kind of fun. And then this part is cute. Okay, I think she went over with pencil, so I think that's what she did. But yeah, whatever it works, looks still nice. And this one is super cute. I have no clue how she got this, but. The colors just looks amazing. I think this is a astronaut inside the globe, and then this one is a some kind of animal. 
funny looking animal which is really cute but i would suggest getting a darker um i would suggest using maybe sharpie when this one is dried up so people can see a little bit better with the lines so that's what i would suggest yeah i would suggest but she probably doesn't have time so which is fine mm -hmm. this one looks really cute anyway and i like how she did the lines here with the color pencil and i think she scrape off this with i think i sh i think she scrape off the pink with some kind of color pencil i don't know but this one the the the, the lines looks pretty cool and they actually look 3d hmm. so i think she had a lot of fun and i like the colors here too very nice job hey this one's claire's ah this one's really cute too okay i think there is a trophy here so there is a trophy here there are these things fairies and i think this is a magical land oh and these are probably lavas maybe i think these are yeah maybe lavas and uh yeah so I like that she's able to use color pencil and incorporate it um, with paint here. So pretty nice works. And there was like a dead tree here. Oh, I think she's trying to do that Aurora sky color, ah, which is pretty cool. This part, this part that I I meant, yeah. But I would suggest um, still using paint for the glow part, like for this. It would be nicer if she had that glow here with um, with paint, like transparent paint. Transparent paint meaning that white with a lot of water to make it more transparent. So, but this one's really cute. Oh, I like all the colors. It just pops out. Ooh, what is this? <laughs> okay, this is completely out of my my um thought. Okay, this is hmm. Okay, so I think she placed this on a tree, and there is a lot of tree stems. Okay, so for Emilia, I would suggest using a lighter green okay um if you are using if you're working with a darker color um darker background color then you can add a little tiny bit of yellow to the green here to make it more stand out otherwise it's going to be pretty dark and this one's nice i like the stamps here um this i like the trees here as well oh and she did this awesome nice okay she had that transparent one here but i would really really love for another one here and another one here so like you guys the globe is a like a circular globe so if you have that reflection maybe you can have one here too okay just a suggestion and i think this is a cat oh so this is a cat hand from the sky um from the top of the tree and trying to grab this i think so very very creative i i like this one i think this is some kind of fox or some kind of animal with a pouch on his back um on his back Ooh, so a lot of creativity with this one very very nice i i like this one story wise i think this one is very unique definitely one of my favorites okay so i'm i'm starting to see more details i see that there's a mountain here and there's another one here okay i like that i, I like how she did the blur this is very very skillful like she did it perfectly very very proud of you um, emilia but um i would suggest maybe getting a tiny bit of white here 
and a tiny bit of white here so the lines are more obvious you know right now it kind of looks very very see-through looks like a bunch of jellos on the top of the mountain okay which we don't want that so try to yeah do this in the background just get that little tiny white line there okay that will make the uh, mountain more obvious this is so cool i really like this one okay mm -hmm. she is just getting her ideas out there all right Kaden. Kaden did a nice job this is super nice i am very surprised i think mommy probably helped a little bit to kind of fill up the colors uh, maybe but this is super nice for his age and i am so proud of you Kaden. so you are doing just fine i'm hoping that you are able to do more things on your own so and the kitty looks very very nice um yeah he can't he, he copy mine but yeah we'll get there some some time in the future to do his own cat okay so this this is awesome and i like all these colors but maybe next time you can have fun with other colors just yeah have fun with paint this is our class so okay let's see who is next maxon oh nice so maxon was able to finish his um and do a lot of details on this one oh so i like this one overall i think this is really nice um he did that he also did this one i would try to add a tiny little bit of blue here just to make this one a little bit more obvious and matches with this blue here so see this one and that one would have match like if you had a little bit of blue and for here um i would add a little tiny bit of water just to kind of blend this one downward so they don't look like it's a line right now it kind of looks like a line so still some more skills to practice but this one's overall very nice i like this one okay so so far ideas wise i really really enjoy amelia's hers is just out there <laughs> awesome okay this one is melodies Ooh, another one out there just having her own ideas and very very um brave so you guys are brave i love this okay I want to say that this one is pretty cool. I like her what she did with the lines. Completely different, but it's so pretty. And the colors that she have is really nice too. And look at those flowers. She added flowers. I ne have never thought about adding flowers. But hmm. see, you guys have all these very cool ideas. And I just like a lot of the colors she have. Uh, I don't know what these are, but they look nice to me. They look pretty cool. I like it. And all these colors are pretty. But I would suggest Melody. Um, next time, if you finish one layer of this color, you see how there is a, lo a lot of the white, um, a lot of the... what transparent parts i would suggest putting a second layer of paint that means after you finish this one and this one's a little bit dry that means when you touch the paper it's you, your hands won't get dirty put a second layer of paint here exactly like what you did the first time and this color will be super pretty um afterwards okay so and the same thing with this one this one looks a tiny little bit more transparent. This one is a lot better. So I like this one. This one's better. But this one's just a little bit too transparent. But oh, this one's a nice color here. So, yeah. Alright, so try that next time to get two layers of paint instead of just one. Um, okay, this one's Mia. Ah, oh, this one's super cute. So Mia didn't have black paper. She couldn't really find it. So she used blue, which looks really nice too. So for Mia, my suggestion would be 
this house is too transparent. I would suggest having two layers of paint for the brown. Or she probably did this one in color pencil. Yep, I think she did this one in color pencil. So yeah, next time do it with paint. And I think it will look really, really nice. Um, it already looked pretty nice, but um, yeah, looks good. And there is a shadow here, and there's table. Nice. Well, this one, these ones look a lot like globes. I think that's probably what she was trying to do. They look like like Uranus, Pluto, maybe. So. Looks nice. Alright, let's move on to Oscar. So Oscar had this orange mountain in the beginning. And I was getting a little bit like concerned. I was like, why is your mountain so orange? What happened to it? It looks like jello. But then he's starting to have these pink things, yellow things, and the house with a little bit of white here for the snow everything just kind of you know blend together it looks really nice so the color choice that he picked and everything else that kind of look nice i mean i don't know it just looks very cohesive cohesive means everything looks like it's a family so I really really like this one color wise. I think this one is like very happy, very warm and very 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 cool. Yeah, I I don't know. I think I think Oscar it's pretty good with colors. He has like very nice taste. <laughs> what can I say? <laughs> so Oscar, you have better color taste than I do <laughs> I think <laughs> for your age so very nice Renato this one's wonderful well I was thinking like whose is that okay but this one's so pretty well I'm so proud of him for this one he has this challenge here he wanted to do the one that that's a little bit more difficult and then he's managed to yeah finish it oh yeah so this was what he was working on so that's the blurry smoke and um it looks kind of look like a like a snowstorm idea and this one looks great i love it okay but i have to complain okay i'm a perfectionist renardo please make sure if this looks transparent, put two coats on the tree, okay? So, see, this one looks a little bit more transparent. You All you need to do is just put two layers of the trees there. And then it will not look transparent, okay? So, but overall, it looks very nice. I love this one. I have other things to complain. Um, not complain, but like I think you can add a tiny little bit of shadow with a color pencil, color pencil, color pencil, just to make the tree a little bit, um, kind of more realistic. But otherwise, I like all you have done for the color wise and all these little details that he did. It's amazing, awesome. And also another thing to complain is this table line here. I think if he added a tiny bit of white to whatever color he had there, it will be perfect. Okay, so just see, see, I drew this and it looks better already. Very nice. Okay, Ronald's. Yeah, okay. Ronald is another favorite one I have. I think just because of his ideas and all these characters that he has. So this is super cute. I like this one. So he has so many characters. Look at that. So he he tried with color pencil. He tried with um with uh 
paint and there's stuff here that I have no clue what he's drawing. <laughs> oh, I think this one's a penguin. So this one's super cute. He was trying a lot of things on his own. So, but um, Ronald, next time, can you not please color in inside here? Cause right now it looks like a ball instead of a globe. So I I would think just keeping the inside part um black will be maybe a little better. Okay, I don't know, but yeah, next time, next time, just just try to keep things not uh, filled in. So otherwise, it looks really nice. Very very nice. Okay, another thing, if you guys want to make your painting a little bit more realistic, please please add in shadows. Okay, you can use color pencil, and since we're using with black, we're doing black paper, right? I know the shadow is not going to show, but you can use a gray color, and you can still give it a little bit of a grayish shadowish, just to kind of signify, just to show. You know they're on the paper they're not flying otherwise everyone looks like they're flying like that so. all right and then oh i really really like the pink here the pink is just standing out <laughs> of this whole thing oh sarah's and she put ho 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 <laughs> it's so her that's so cute okay so sarah is doing this one and looks pretty nice i think i'm very proud of her for her work she's figuring things out on her own and okay i i would hope next time sarah could paint this table um flat that means when your brush goes here just make sure it's completely flat Otherwise, you can use a little bit of dark color and just color the top just to make sure the table is not fuzzy or hairy. And then for the mountains, I think she used a big brush and just go back and forth like this. So I would suggest maybe using a smaller brush and then just kind of slowly brush things but with a little bit of paint yeah i think she probably would, would look a little bit better and um sarah i i have to complain a little bit all the colors you use are very like sad so maybe next time you could pick a happier color maybe the stand could be like pink i don't know um this part could be less black um this is gray right now so maybe this part could be a little bit more bluish so that will make your artwork like a lot more happier right now this one looks kind of sad because all the colors that you have here are not warm color they tend to be cold colors but very cute i like the ho 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 i like the heart as well um very nice uh, looking forward to next time and then this one's Ferris. so one last person um, is, she's not the last but she's um, the last one on my chart okay so Vera did a very nice job um, I love her kitty here okay the kitty um, next time can you use a dark pencil afterward to trace this cat so the lines can be more obvious i guess this the over here on the black white lines would be okay but inside the cat since it's hard to see black more makes more sense and she was getting a little bit tired so i let her go and but overall i think this is a nice try for vera and the snow globe looks pretty cool so very nice guys and I will look forward to you guys' work this week. Uh, bye!